All right, so let's talk about this problem here. Miss Potter is putting together new student gift packets, packages of erasers and pencils. Whoa, it must be the winter holidays. She's got 72 pencils and 32 erasers. She wants each student to get a gift pack with an equal number of pencils and erasers. That sounds important, right? So an equal number of pencils, of pencils and erasers. All right, that's only fair, right? So what is the greatest number, the greatest number of gift packs that she can make? How many pencils and how many erasers will be in each pack? All right, so basically we've got uh, 72 pencils and we've got 32 erasers, 32 erasers, and she's trying to break them up into uh, little packages, right? Only pencil pouches or maybe she's got nice little gift bags, who knows? Um, and she wants to make each one of them equal. So let's see, so she's breaking these up into equal groups and each one of these is gonna be a package, right? So I hope you can see that this is a division problem, right? We've gotta take 32 and divide it into packages. We've gotta take 72, 72, and divide it into packages. The question is, how many packages, right? What is that number gonna be? What is N gonna be? I'll put a little N over here so it'll remind us the number of packages is what we're looking for. Now, I could, I could divide them both into two, right? These are both divisible by two, right? I could put a two here. Seven, eight, nine, three, four, five. Uh, they might both be divisible by, let's see, eight. Yeah, they could both be divided by eight. I should put it eight here. You know, so well, there's several options, but how can I find the greatest common value? Just because I thought of eight doesn't mean it's the right number, the right answer. So we are going to create a prime factor string, right? So we can figure out what is actually the biggest number, right? So let's start with 72, right? 72, 72, I'm going to switch to red here. All right, so I've got 72, and I'm going to break it into two groups of... Hmm, now, I've kind of forgotten, I don't know what the other factor is. So I'm gonna use division, right? Division is what's gonna help us find the other factors. I have 72, and I know two is one factor. Division will tell me the other factor, right? So two goes into seven three times. Three times two is six, and I have a zero here, and the remainder of 12. And six is the next number, six times two is 12, and I'm out. It's two times 36. Okay, I'm going to switch back to red here. Uh, 36, I know that can be divided by 2. And again, I'm in that same position, right? I don't know what the other factor is, so I'm going to use division, right? 2 goes into 3 one time. 1 times 2 is 20. There we go. We have 16. That's going to be an 18, right? So it's 2 times 18. And from here, I think I got it. 2 times 9, and that's 3 times 3. Okay? So I just found the prime factor string of 72. Right? You might not know how that's going to help us yet, but just hang on a second. I'm going to give myself some more space here. I'm going to do the same thing for 32. I'm going to find all the factors or the prime factors of 32. 32. Uh, this one's a little easier. It's going to be 2 times 16, uh, and that's 2 times 8, and that's 2 times 4, and that's 2 times Two. That's the prime factor string of 32. So I'm going to write these two things out. 2 right, times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's the last one, times 2. That's 32. And now I'm going to write the prime factor string for 72. 72 is 2 times 2 times 2, times 3, times 3. And now I'm going to look for all the prime factors that they both have. I'm going to circle them. I call them twins, right? They both have a factor of 2. They both have another factor of 2. And they both have another factor of 2. Okay? All that 72 has left is 3 and 3. And 32 only has 2 and 2. So there's no more common factors. So our prime factor strings show us that all the common factors are 2 and 2 and 2. And that equals 8. 8 is our greatest common factor.
eight is the greatest common factor. So it turns out that eight is the greatest number that both of these can be divided by. Look, it turns out Miss Potter can make eight gift packs. The second part of the question is how many pencils will be in each package? So let's think of 72 divided by eight. You probably know that that's nine, right? So we could say nine pencils. And 32 divided by eight, you probably know that's four. So that's four groups of, or eight groups of four. That's eight pens in each package. And remember, we're talking about eight packs. Okay, so there we go. It's just eight packs. Each one has nine pencils, one has, and each one has four pens. That's how we're going to use the greatest common factor to answer questions like this. All right, you're going to find the prime factor strings, you're going to circle any common factors, and you're going to multiply those common factors together, and that gives you the greatest common factor. All right, good luck, everybody.